All right, y'all, to get into the cut, just like any other haircut, you want to make sure that you prep the hair. So you want to comb the hair in the direction that the client brushes. And you want to comb and not brush because brushing lays the hair flat, comb and lifts the hair off of the scalp, which is going to help you to give a more even cut. And I have a number one guard on with my Anders Masters, and I'm going with the grain, making sure that I'm very careful around the crown area. And I'm just being consistent and making sure I go over everything multiple times so that I can sure that all the hairs are as even as possible and I'm laying the hair how I want it to lay. Also, make sure that when you're doing the preparation for the haircut, make sure that you check it for any light spots, any calyx, um, anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to put a light spot or a gap in the client's hair. In this video, I'm going to be doing a low taper for y'all. So... I'm gonna bottom out from around the top of his ear, maybe drop it a little, and then you know I'm gonna hit his beard and I'm gonna separate it a little more just to give it, a, just like exaggerate it a little, you know. In the back, I'm gonna do it pretty much straight across, just because I just like how it fades better straight across on his head. Sometimes I do the rainbow shape, sometimes I do straight across, just depending on the client's hair and the shape of the head and all that. And then make sure that when you do the other side that they're matching you know because you want it to be opposite reciprocal to get into my fading process i have my Anders masters with the blade open and to establish my first guideline i'm gonna go up about half an inch and i'm gonna flick out then after i have it established i'm gonna lay my blade flat go to the top of the guideline and then i'm gonna close my lever halfway go halfway up the guideline close the lever a little bit more tap the bottom line then close the lever all the way tap the bottom line take it out completely with the comb y'all it's kind of hard to explain but I like to start with the big side of the comb with the lever open just to make sure that I don't cut or dig into the waves or into the hair, whatever kind of hair I'm cutting. And then I work my way closed on the big side of the comb. Then I flip my comb to the little side and pretty much do the same thing. Sometimes I might go in with the little side with the lever closed, but you know, it's just like it depends. It's kind of hard to explain over a voiceover, but just try to pay attention and just watch what I'm doing and it should make a lot more sense. And also, I'm making an online academy. Once again, I'm gonna tell y'all that in every video until I launch the academy, but I'm making an online academy and it's definitely gonna have some clip over comb work in there. So make sure that y'all tap into that. And right now I'm just doing detail work. So by detail work, I mean lever play, open and close my lever on my blade when need be. And corner work using the last couple teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to pinpoint the dark spots bring them to the light and make the fade as smooth as possible my message for today is to be there and really care don't just you know say you're there like be there for people that you're supposed to be there for and really care like care about the situation and do everything you can do what you can do and don't just say like yeah i'm gonna pray for you actually pray for people and if they're there in your presence why not pray for them right there instead of telling them yeah i'm gonna pray for you just pray with them when you're right there the bible says where two or three are gathered together in god's name he is there in the midst of them so use god's presence power and authority to your advantage there is power in the mighty name of jesus another thing i heard recently that i want to throw in here i was watching an interview of dwayne the rock johnson the other day and in the interview he said this quote and it just makes a lot of sense and it kind of ties in with the message the quote that he said was it's nice to be important but it's more important to be nice also y'all in the bible it says god is love it instructs us to love our neighbors as ourselves and it also says that love covers a multitude of sins so make sure that you're loving your neighbor as yourself and when I say neighbor, I don't mean just like love the person that lives next to you. Like love the people that surround you, that's next to you. Like show love to everybody. Let God's love in you reach the people that you encounter, especially in person, because they're going to definitely remember that. And also let it reach everybody that you encounter, whether it be on social media or in person, have you encounter them. Let God's light and his love shine in you and through you into the lives of others i definitely encourage y'all to go read mark 12 verses 30 through 31 it's about loving your neighbor as yourself and loving the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind with all your strength i'm gonna get into explaining the back now because in the back i do a little bit different technique as far as the ball line it's literally the same thing the only difference with the back is i'm gonna use guards and also the guidelines are gonna be a little bit bigger because you have a bigger surface area to work with so Instead of going up like half an inch or three quarters of an inch, whatever it is on the sides, for the back, I'm gonna do like a full inch guideline, but it's literally gonna be the same thing. 
I started with my lever open and went up like a full inch. Closed my lever halfway, went halfway up it. Closed my lever a little more to soften the line and I closed my lever all the way to tap the bottom line and take it out completely. The next step is, since I cut this hair down with the number one guard closed, I'm gonna put a one and a half guard on. I'm gonna start with the lever open and then I'm gonna work it closed. And I'm just working this under his prior ridge just to give myself a nice foundation to fade into. Notice how I go over everything multiple times and I'm combing through the hair to make sure that it's laid back down so that I can ensure that I'm gonna give a nice, clean, even fade. Next, I'm gonna throw my number one guard on. I'm gonna start with the lever open and I'm just gonna go right up under where we left off with the lever closed with the one and a half guard. Then I'm gonna close the lever up a little more, come a little farther down on the fade. Then I'm gonna close the lever all the way, tap the bottom of the line and it's just gonna soften it up. It's not gonna take the line out completely. It's just gonna soften it up so I can come in my zero guard and take the line out completely. And for the back of the head, I really like to work in sections. So I do one side of the head first, then I do the other side of the head. I feel like it just helps me to stay more organized. In certain areas like this area right here in the middle of the back of the head, it's a lot more dense. So it's just a lot more full. I'm gonna have to do some more work into it. And it also grows in different directions. Now I have my zero guard on. With the zero guard, I look at it like a detail guard or a eraser guard. So by that, I mean, I'm gonna be doing a lot of detail work with it. And like I say always, by detail work, I mean lever place. So open and close my lever of my blade when need be and corner work using the last couple teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to pinpoint dark spots, bring them to the light and make the fade as smooth as possible. To get into the lineup, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some holding spray, making sure I don't spray too much. Then I'm gonna wipe it in the direction that I want the hair to lay. So obviously I'm going to try to stretch it forward as much as possible. Next I'm going to use cold air with my blow dryer. And once again I'm just dry the hair, wiping the hair in the direction I want it to lay, making sure that it's dry. Next I'm going to comb through to stretch the hairs out. Once again I'm going to comb through. That's going to pull the hairs forward. And then I'm going to tap in my slant. Make sure that when you're doing these lineups in the back like the ear lineup make sure that you keep it nice and natural and crispy you don't have to push lineups back to make them crispy you know what i'm saying just go with the shape go with the natural shape that the head and the hair is giving you y'all can see my clippers head man i really should start setting people's clippers and just charging for it because like you see what my clippers do like every video um but yeah, once once I do, once I work around the top of the ear, I'm gonna use the last couple of teeth of my blade or the corner of my blade to make that arch shape around the ear. And like I said, I'm just keeping it as natural as possible. I am gonna comb through and go over it multiple times. Like after you put in your first initial line, make sure that you comb through and pull all the hairs forward that's gonna overhang and cut all the overhanging hairs so that there aren't any. So that, that's called solidifying your lineup. So long story short make sure you, you solidify your lineup y'all see in the front he had like a little calic so i start at that calic in the front and i just work my way to the side y'all can see i'm not pushing him back his hair in the front is like that his hair on the side has a little over a little overgrowth so it's not pushing the back it's just keeping it even with the front right so once the front meets the side i tap the vertical bar in Same thing on this side. And then after that, I'm gonna put in the C cup. I was in the way for this one, but I'm gonna show y'all on the other side. Y'all can see this is all natural too. No enhancements on this cut. Right here, I'm gonna set the, when it comes to the C cup, I like to go to the bottom of the vertical bar and put in, you know, just a little line. Then I work 
from the bottom of the C cup to the top of that and just meet them in the middle. And y'all can see you don't gotta dig in for this either. Just keep it the natural shape that the client's hair and head is giving you once again. Now I'm gonna do some detail work, just doing the last finishing touches for the haircut. Once again, this is an all natural haircut. My bad y'all, I did not get any of the beard work or razor work in this video, but don't trip y'all, it's gonna be okay. Cause this is gonna be one of the clients that I choose to use in the Lake Phase Online Academy, which I plan on launching in January, hopefully on January 1st. So you're gonna be able to see a lot more in detail up close and personal anyway, and it'll be better like that. Y'all see my big brother Haven the groomer in the background with the pink shirt on. Make sure that y'all subscribe to his YouTube channel He's about to start uploading a lot more consistently. And y'all see my boy Major Cuts sitting down right there. Same thing with him. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel at Major Cuts. He's about to start uploading a lot more consistently too. Um, and just show them love so, you know, they just are encur encouraged to post. And let me know what y'all think about this cut in the comment section. I think the cut turned out fire. Fade butter, lineup extra crispy, hair laid, beard smooth. Y'all see that back taper. If y'all came to my channel because you like watching bar videos because it's satisfying, I hope it satisfied you. If you came to learn something, I hope you take something from my game, apply it to yours, and advance in your career, in your craft, in your life. And if you came for the message, I hope it reached you and touched your heart, your soul, your mind, and your body. Um, I gotta say this, y'all. I'm humble at Jesus' feet. Without Jesus, I'm nothing but a filthy rag right inside of God, and I can't do anything with Jesus. I am the righteousness of God, and I can do all things. Thank y'all for tuning to another video. I hope to see you back on the next one, and may God bless.